parents of some of the nation's youngest are stuck in an unrelenting scenario. I'm panicking, crying. That's a scary feeling. You don't know what's what's happening in that moment. She was coughing a lot and had a really runny nose. And so we took her in to the doctor and they tested her and sure enough, she had RSV. As we were sitting in the waiting room, it was little kid after baby after baby with the same symptoms. Their child, one of the two million kids under five who get infected with respiratory syncytial virus or RSV each year. The vast majority of cases are mild. It's the leading cause of hospitalization in infants. And what is causing new concern is the rate of infections dramatically rising earlier than in years past. We've had a lot of young children who have not yet experienced their first infection. This RSV virus has taken advantage of all these susceptible children and has suddenly started to spread among them. Doctors say RSV symptoms are similar to the common cold, but the virus can lead to more severe symptoms in infants and young children. And unlike the flu or COVID, there's no approved vaccine to protect young kids against RSV. Why? Science moves in a very deliberate way, and it's taken a while for us to develop a vaccine. It's a target scientists have aimed at for over half a century. Early RSV vaccine attempts in the 1960s led to disaster. In 1966, a clinical vaccine trial in Washington, D.C. failed. Scientists made the shot with an activated virus that ended up making infants' cases more severe when exposed to RSV. Two young children died. Scientists struggled for decades to find out why the shot failed. Even though science was advancing, nobody wanted to go near the development of an RSV vaccine. That was until 2013. National Institutes of Health scientists made a crucial discovery around the elusive fusion glycoprotein, or F-protein. This is what attaches the virus to cells in the immune system. And what makes it tricky to defeat is its ability to change shape. Now scientists believe they know how to cut off the F-protein before it fuses with a cell. It would set up the immune system to read and defeat the protein. Vaccine makers are using that discovery and are nearing a breakthrough, looking at vaccinating adults instead of infants. We are making really significant progress with the RSV vaccines. Carlos Blanco is helping run vaccine trials for drug makers Moderna and Bavarian Nordic. The two are studying shots in adults 60 and older. Like infants, they're at higher risk of a hospital stay if they get RSV. Drug maker Pfizer is testing its potential vaccine in pregnant women late in their third trimesters. Pregnant mothers can get other vaccines too for this type of protection like the flu or whooping cough. Some of that protection will cross the placenta, protect that newborn through the first several months of life before we can start vaccinating the newborn. In a press release, Pfizer says their maternal shot was 69% effective in preventing severe RSV infection in infants zero to six months when children are the most at risk. Pfizer has submitted for FDA approval for its RSV shot for adults 60 and older. In a press release, the company says the FDA is expediting the review process. We could expect a final decision by May 2023. Industry officials are optimistic an approved vaccine is near though hospitals now face a surge in patients. So it's hard to offer yes, but I would say that definitely within probably 12 to 16 months, we, we should probably have the vaccine available. I don't know that it'll be next season, but I do think within the next couple of years. It's a glimmer of hope for doctors fighting RSV in the future, while doctors today care for those suffering now. Lindsay Thies, Newsy.